Hi, this is the first lecture in MIT's course 1806, Linear Algebra, and I'm Gilbert Strang. Um, the text for the course is uh, this book, uh, Introduction to Linear Algebra, and uh, the course webpage, which has got a lot of exercises from the past, uh, MATLAB codes, uh, the syllabus for the course is web.mit.edu slash 18.06. And this is the first lecture, lecture one. So, uh, and later we'll say where, which will give the web address for viewing these uh, videotapes. Okay, so what's in the first lecture? Um, this is my plan. Uh, the fundamental problem of linear algebra, which is to solve a system of linear equations. So let's start with the case when we have some number of equations, say n equations and n unknowns. So an equal number of equations and unknowns. That's the normal nice case. And what I want to do is, with examples of course, to describe first uh, what I call the row picture. That's the picture of one equation at a time. It's the picture you've seen before in two by two equations where lines meet. So in a minute you'll see lines meeting. The second picture, I'll, I'll, I put a star beside that because that's such an important one. And maybe new to you is the picture a column at a time. And those are the rows and columns of a matrix. So the third, the algebra way to look at the problem is the matrix form in using a matrix that I'll call A. Okay, so can I do an example? The whole semester will be uh, examples and then see what's going on with the, with the example. So take an example. Two equations, two unknowns. So let me take 2x minus y equals 0, let's say, and minus x plus, say, 2y equals 3. OK. Uh, let me, I can even say right away, what's the matrix that, that is, what's the coefficient matrix? The matrix that involves these numbers. A matrix is just a rectangular array of numbers. Here, the, here it's two rows and two columns. So 2 and minus 1 in the first row, minus 1 and 2 in the second row. That's the matrix. And the right hand, the uh, unknown, well, we've got two unknowns. So we've got a vector x with two components, x and y. And we've got two right-hand sides that go into a vector 0, 3. I couldn't resist writing the matrix form uh, right of, even before the, before the pictures. So I always will think of this as the matrix A, the matrix of coefficients. Then there's a vector of unknowns. Here we've only got two unknowns. Later we'll have any number of unknowns. And that vector of unknowns, well, I'll often I'll make that x extra, extra bold. Uh, and the right-hand side is also a vector that I'll always call b. So linear equations are ax equal b, and the idea now is to solve this particular example and then step back to see the bigger picture. Okay, what's the picture for this example? The row picture. Okay, so here comes the row picture. So that means I take one row at a time, and I'm drawing here the xy plane, and I'm going to put, plot all the points that satisfy that first equation. So I'm looking at all the points that satisfy 2x minus y equals 0. I, I, I'm often, it's often good to start with which point on the horizontal line. On this horizontal line, y is 0. The x-axis has y is 0, and that, in this case, actually, then x is 0. So 
the point, the origin, the point with coordinates 0, 0 is on the line. It solves that equation. OK, uh, tell me, an, well, I guess I have to tell you uh, another point that solves this uh, same equation. Let me suppose x is 1. So I'll take x to be 1. Then y should be 2, right? So there's the point 1, 2 that also solves this equation. And I could put in more points. But, uh, but uh, let me put in all the points at once, because they all lie on a straight line. This is a linear equation, and that word linear has got the letters for line in it. That's the equation. That's, this is the line that of, that of solutions to 2x minus y equals 0, my first row, first equation. So typically, maybe x equal a half, y equal 1 will work. And it, sure enough, it does. OK, that's the first one. Now, the second one is not going to go through the origin. It's always uh, important. Do we go through the origin or not? In this case, yes, because there's a 0 over there. In this case, we don't go through the origin, because if x and y are 0, we don't get 3. So let me again say, suppose y is 0. What x do we actually get? If y is 0, then I get x is minus 3. So if y is 0, I go along minus 3. So there is one point on this second line. Now, let me say, well, suppose x is minus 1. Just to take another x. If x is minus 1, then this is a 1. And I think y should be a 1. Because if x is minus 1, then I think y should be a 1, and we'll get that point. Is that right? If x is minus 1, that's a 1. If y is a 1, that's a 2, and the 1 and the 2 make 3, and that point's on the equation. OK, now I should just draw the line, right? Connecting those two points, that, that will give me the whole line. And if I've done this reasonably well, I think it's going to happen to go through, well, not happen, it was arranged to go through that point. So I think that the second line is this one. And this is the all-important point that lies on both lines. So we just check that that point, which, which is the point x equal 1 and y was 2, right? That's the point there. And that, I believe, solves both equations. Let's just check this. If x is 1, I have a minus 1 plus 4 equals 3. Okay. 